Hi guys, <laughs> I'm back again, this time with uh, a raincoat because I don't want to get drenched. Um, I've come out to make the video today because of the, well, custard apple that's dropped and I better be quick because the rain is like, you won't believe it, this is like the worst rain that I've experienced here at um, Protopia in many years, maybe five or six years. So here we are, we're gonna move quick. This guy fell overnight um, and now we're gonna release him from the bag and bring him in. The reason I'm bringing him in is because it's on the soft side and he might be ready to eat. So I'll undo the the, the tie and deal with him okay looks like it's a whopper very um, heavy in my hand it feels like mm, five or six hundred grams yeah very very disappointed with the weather this week in Melbourne Ugh. Earlier in the week we were at the beach swimming and last week we were at the beach swimming and uh, at the end of this week which weeks am I talking about? I'm talking about the end of October guys the final few days of October uh, rain 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 squish squash squish squash and cold not only wet but cold Let's have a look at the temperature under the ice cream bean. Ah, and the temperatures I noticed up north, 32 in Brisbane and 26 in Sydney. Wow, guess what the temperature here is? Let's have a look. This is 12 noon, the afternoon. Temperature is 12, 13, 12 and a half, almost 13. 13 Celsius. Um, in late spring. Can you believe it? Oh man! So I've been panicking with all the rain, especially since the the yellow Jaboticaba does not like wet feet, right? I planted these guys last week um, in soil that I did not amend, but um, I rushed out and bought gypsum just before the rain started earlier this week and I placed it everywhere into the around the um, the trees that I planted the mulberries and uh, jabo yeah so far so good there hasn't been any sitting water the reason why I didn't amend the soil is because it's fast draining so why why bother right yeah However, here, where I planted the um, Angela mulberry, it's been, the water's been sitting there now for almost three days. Yeah, I just hope the mulberry is not a sook, like the tropicals, and will survive this uh, waterlogging. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Splish, splash, splish, splash at Fruitopia at the end of October, guys. There's the um, Jamun, happy now with its new steak. Yeah. But other than that, other than what I showed you, everything's fine, including the. Um, um, Jujubes, the ones that failed last summer, they've come back, which is good news. Okay, let's get back to this custard apple. I deviated. Okay, there it is. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we could eat this or give it another day it's a little mm, mm, it's 
smell is um, custody. I'm just dying to get in here, <laughs> right? To see if there's any sweetness or should I wait another day? It's soft enough. Sort of. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to risk it. Yeah, I'm going to do it, guys. Let's taste it. Our first um, Paxton Prolific Custard Apple at the Moya at Fruitopia at um, the end of October, which is um, mid to late spring mid to late spring let's get a thumbnail too on this baby okay okay a little sugar okay let's cut it up some more okay so let's try this <laughs> yeah right spring yeah sure all right guys here goes mmm it's got sugar more than normal I rushed it. It could have done with another day or two. But the good news, the good news is, this is the sweetest custard apple that I've tasted here at um, Fruitopia, finally. After how many years now? Five? Mmm. Oh, Kim's going to love this. Mm. Wow, we did it, we did it. We got a sweet atemoya, custard apple, in Melbourne. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give that a 7. If I'd waited another day or two, it might have been an 8. It's just a little crunchy, just slightly crunchy, and custard apple should not be crunchy. Mmm. This this side is even sweeter. And best of all, it's lacking that brown color that it had in previous years. If you go back to my custard apple playlist, you'll see the disappointment every year how they were brown inside mm. we did it guys we did it I've got to share this with Kim That's the brownness I was talking about. See how it's brown at the near the um, near the skin. Well, in years past, that brownness was all the way through the the flesh. You can see see how it you can see it there on the um, on the edge. Wow, what an improvement on on the past. I wonder why it's taken. How many years is that now? Twenty fourteen is when I got the tree so it was already a year old maybe two years old this is a 10 well I would say 9 to 10 year old tree it's taken almost 10 years to sweeten up on me can you believe it how long it took wow so remember that guys if you're growing custard apple in Melbourne it's gonna take almost 10 years well that's how long it took for me I don't know, you're, you might have better luck. And there's also different varieties of custard apple. 
uh, with I keep saying cussed apple, and in America they call it atemoya. But uh, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? So yay! I am so um, pleased, especially on this very disappointing um, week we've had with the weather. Unreal, huh? So I'd rather have this crappy weather and these awesome results rather than beautiful sunshine and poor results with the fruit. Mm. So now Kim is going to have a taste and she'll give her opinion on the um, taste. Kim, is this our very first sweet custard apple in Melbourne or have we passed? Very good banana daddy. <laughs> Custard apple in Melbourne? Yeah! Look at Look at this, guys. You are amazing. Mmm. Alrighty. Very Ki good. Very Ki good. Kim gives it the flying, flying colors. Sweet. Finally. Sweet. Oh, my God. By the way, if I had left it another day or two, I think it would have been even sweeter mm -hmm. and softer. Did you notice how it's got a little crunch? Yeah, it should have been set one. should have let it set one more day, but it's still delicious. Thanks. What's mm. that? Organic custard apple in Melbourne. Yeah. So guys, that's good news. Excellent news. Now we're waiting for the the cherry moya to drop, which should be also sometime in November or December. And um, we'll come back with a with a taste test with that as well wow so many on here this year there's like 20 thanks for watching guys catch you from the next video don't forget to to like and share and subscribe to the channel bye bye now oh can't wait for sunshine